Peace, love, and light, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I am here to do a general reading for you beautiful souls. It has been a week or so since my last upload, and I wanted to definitely start off the week with a bang, bang, boogie. I hope that you all will, that you all had a beautiful, a strong end, that you enjoyed your time with your family, that you you know, have been really uh, nurturing yourselves, taking care of yourselves, and just really focusing on that self-care. Um, I thank you all for tuning and tapping in. If you are returning, you already know what it is, beloveds. Love is love is love. If you are new to the channel, I welcome you all. I thank you all for tuning in. I will that you have um, a message that resonates for you. Um, so hopefully you will stay a while. Um, if you are new, my name is Q. I too am a Scorpio. I channel messages intuitively. I am an empath and I am also clairaudient. So you will hear music playing in the background and those messages from the song, whether through the lyrics, the name of the song, name of the artist, the timestamp of the song, it will resonate with the messages I may be channeling intuitively at that moment. Um, and it will correlate with what's showing up in the tarot cards. Um, right now we have Simple Minds and this is called Don't You Forget About Me. This is from that um, Breakfast Club uh, movie. That's one of my, my favorites from you know my youth is the Breakfast Club. But this is Don't You Forget About Me. So I absolutely, uh, this is the second or third time uh, nostalgia is a factor. Someone's having these thoughts, really, you know, fond memories. Don't you forget about me. This is someone that doesn't want to be a lost um, cause. They don't want to be forgotten. Um, they don't want you to um, forget about the connection, perhaps. Uh, maybe this is someone that you're hoping hasn't forgotten about you. Uh, Whatever is happening, I feel that there's a lot of memories. Maybe someone's dreaming, daydreaming, night dreaming. Um, maybe someone is having moments of nostalgia, looking through photo albums, um, maybe looking through you know, old memorabilia and there's little uh, information or little memories of you and this person. Um, maybe there's a certain song that may play that reminds someone. But with this, don't you forget about me. It's like someone doesn't want to be forgotten. They don't want to be a lost cause. They don't want to be someone that is... Um, an afterthought, if you will. So I really strongly feel, you know, with simple minds, maybe someone was um, foolish. Someone feels foolish. Maybe they did something which resulted in your response of just cutting them off, ghosting them, disengaging, maybe creating boundaries. Uh, but I do feel like this is someone that doesn't want to be forgotten. Um, I feel strongly they want to be back in your good graces. They want to be back in communication um, because they care about you. I feel they care about you. They care about this connection that much. And maybe they're realizing that they were acting very simple, very immature. Um, maybe there was a hint of... Um, you know, gaslighting or or manipulation in the connection. But I feel with simple minds, um, maybe someone felt like someone else was trying to play them for Booba the Fool or trying to insult their intelligence. Um, so we have right now the Jones Girls, and this is called You're Gonna Make Me Love Somebody Else. So this was absolutely someone who did something that was very careless. Uh, someone mishandled you, um, someone miscalculated your response. Uh, this is someone who was being foolish because I got from the Simple Minds, the name of the artist uh, for Don't You Forget About Me. I, I'm gathering that someone was playing um, some sort of game and they didn't calculate the risk and the risk was greater than what they expected because you may have walked away or someone walked away from this connection uh, because it says you're going to make me love somebody else. So someone was kind of playing hard to get. Someone was kind of playing a game, kind of toying with another person's feelings, hearts, emotions, maybe even their mind. Uh, because with simple mind, I just feel like somebody was playing a lot of mind games. Um, but this is just what I'm picking up intuitively. And I I'm also sensing that like someone was keeping up with the Joneses because this is the Jones girls. So some 
someone was trying to keep up with the Joneses. So maybe they were trying to uphold some sort of social standards or trying to appear a certain way to a certain demographic, to a certain group, or maybe they were trying to please and appease the wrong people. Um, but I feel that that was a very foolish mistake that someone made because it could have cost them uh, something that they actually uh, and truly desired. So um, with you're going to make me love somebody else, I do feel a strong sense of someone walking away um, because they know their worth, they know their value, um, and they weren't going to put up and settle for someone mistreating them, mishandling them, and not valuing them. So uh, the deval, uh, that was it for you. That was all I feel. If this wasn't your energy, uh, this was the other person. Someone felt like, okay, you're not going to devalue you, de devalue me any longer. You're not going to mistreat me. You're not going to mishandle me. Uh, you're going to make me love somebody else. So it's almost like someone's actions kind of thrusted you into the arms of another lover or someone was thrusted into the arms of another lover because someone didn't appreciate what they had in their um, possession, you know, for lack of a better word. But that's, again, what I'm picking up intuitively. Let's go ahead, do some house cleaning and let's proceed with the reading. So let's go ahead, take a strong, deep inhale. And exhale. So I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother, Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, the number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. And let's go ahead and delve into the reading. Right now we have Roy Ayers. This is called The Third Eye. So intuitively someone is um, picking up on some sort of energy. Maybe someone is being more discerning, using discernment, being more um, mindful perhaps of a situation maybe they're assessing things looking at things from a different perspective now but the third eye is truly that is your first eye hence the name of the channel um, that is when you're that's you, you you're utilizing your ability to see through the illusions to see through all of the um, all of the the little subtle um, and hints of of confusion fog um, this is your ability to see through that illusion, to remove the blindfold, to remove the the uh, confusion and to see beyond. So I feel with the third eye, your, your first eye is wide open. So you are very intuitive at this moment in time. Uh, maybe some of you all are growing more sensitive. Uh, maybe you are feeling that your psychic abilities are being amplified at this time. Uh, but there is a strong sense of connectedness and a knowingness, um, getting strong high priestess energy, uh, high priest energy and vibrations. So there's like there's this knowingness. Maybe there's communication telepathically, intuitively. As I said, someone could be really up in their head, um, really daydreaming. And really just in a nostalgic place uh, with Don't You Forget About Me. I was picking up on someone looking through photo albums or maybe someone just like bumping into information that's taking them back, having a little moment of nostalgia, reflecting, introspecting. Um, with the third eye, I do feel divine is telling you that if someone does return, um, it is very important for you to use discernment, for you to um, to check out for the red flags to check for the red flags to not fall back into the trap of um disillusionment if you will so let's go ahead and see what we have coming and going out going on so on the bottom of the deck the numerology deck we have the love so this is giving me like the lover's energy because it is um it is uh the number six which is the lovers in traditional tarot and we have 85 and this says, follow your dreams. 85 reduces to 13. 13 reduces to 4. 
So I'm strongly feeling like there is um, a very solid connection for is the vibration of 1111. That's also yin yang, twin flame, cosmic companion type of energy. The lovers is also, uh, you know, that energy as well because the lovers is overseen by like an angelic presence. So maybe you're coming into alignment uh, with look to the sky. Maybe you're getting some certain. Um, synchronicities maybe there's certain birds animal totems uh, maybe you're seeing certain symbols and imagery in the clouds uh, but with baby 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 look to the sky seeking to find um, what does he say seeking to find uh, the third eye so it's like you're seeking wisdom you're seeking some sort of knowledge some sort of some sort of clarity perhaps uh, but I do feel someone may have had um may have been sending up prayers and petitions you know when you look up to the sky a lot of people will look up to the sky when they're in prayer or when they're sending up a petition or uh speaking a daily mantra affirmation um maybe someone is doing um an enlightenment ritual where they're sun gazing whatever it is someone has become very aware um of their connection that they feel uh, for you, with you, to you. Um, they feel this connection. They feel this chemistry. They feel this sense of synergy. You know, they also feel you're like a wish fulfillment. Um, and that four reduces, uh, like I said, that 85 reduces to four, which is the emperor in traditional tarot. So feminines, you could have that masculine energy coming towards you. Um, even if you're masculine energy, uh, you could have just, you know, feminine energy that's coming towards you that is, you know, seeking some sort of, you know, that's um, obtaining some sort of clarity. Maybe someone is becoming very aware that you are the one that got away. Um, maybe they're realizing that's, you know, they were playing it uh, hard to get. They were playing, you know, fool. they was playing foolish games and it could have cost them you. And now they're realizing that your wish fulfillment. We do see that there's a happy ending here so whatever ending is going to result in a happy ending uh because i feel there was there was a lot of enlightenment you know maybe even through communication um there could be some sort of resolve i just saw 12 12 that's third that's three three which is six so again this is someone from your past um this is absolutely someone from your past but this is someone that has very strong feelings and emotions towards you you know and they're saying look to the sky you know, so the sky, as I said, you know, that could in, indicate that there's some sort of wish fulfillment. There's something unexpected that could be coming in quickly. And this is going to result to, you know, into some sort of a happy ending. The 63 reduces to nine. So I'm strongly feeling like, you know, a lot of introspective work was taking place. A lot of self-analysis, self-discovery, you know, really just working on the self Um and I feel that has resulted in your ability to implement the necessary changes. The changes within you are now, you know, um, rep, you know, they're, they're kind of reflective externally. So when you really heal internally, you, you will start to embody that person that has transformed. 63 reduces to nine. Nine is the highest number of change. Nine also is the hermit card and the hermit is a wizard. So you've sought within, you've sought internally for answers, you know, for the answers that you were seeking externally. As I always say, you know, love is an inside job, happiness inside job. And that's where you were able to discover those things, which has put you back into alignment. You're back into that, that, that harmony, because I feel that there was a lot of disharmony in a, in a former relationship or in former connections, and it was because you were imbalanced. So we have Whitney Houston, all the man that I need. So someone that you are attracting is going to be all the man that you need. Remember that number 85, 13, 4, the, I was saying there was a masculine energy approaching. Well, this is going to be someone that absolutely is everything that you have manifested and prayed for, hoped for, everything that you have spoke into existence. Maybe you have been writing down in your manifestation journals, saying those prayers. I feel like it's coming into fruition with this physical activity. That's another 13, 4. So this is saying that this divine masculine this time around is going to be very intentional in the way that they treat you. Um, they have learned your love language. This is someone that's going to, you know, really make you happy, really um, court you, be very attentive, very affectionate. Um, this is someone that's coming in with the intention to provide, to protect, you know, someone that's looking to um 
collaborate to build, you know, and not destroy. So this is someone that's going to be very, very much intentional. They're going to show you with their actions, you know, everything that they feel for you, the love they feel. Um, this person sees you as someone very wise, very strong, also very beautiful, very attractive. And they have a lot of optimism, you know, about this connection. I feel like this is someone that does desire to be forgiven for their former mistakes, their former misdeeds. Because as I said, I do feel like someone uh, did not calculate the risks. They miscalculated and it was out of pride, out of ego. Perhaps they had a bunch of dun -dun -dun around them, misguiding them, misinforming them. But I feel like once they started to really assess the connection and once they kind of, you know, went through that ego death, you know, they had that moment of... Um, you know, of, of, uh, clarity. It was like, they was able to see how natural, how a la natural the connection with you was. It was like everything about you just, it was just right. You know, that 74 reduces to 11. So this is someone that realizes like you're their better half. You're the one that ticks all the boxes. You're the one that, you know, you're the, all the woman, all the man that they need, according to Whitney Houston. It's because like you, really stimulated them on many levels. Maybe there was a sense of immaturity during the time that you and this person was connecting and they weren't really making the effort and that could have led to the demise. Maybe there was a lot of other people involved in the connection unbeknownst to you. Maybe they had other love interests and maybe that um, distraction, those distractions, you know, resulted in them mishandling, miscalculating you and the way in which they would handle you or deal with you or treat you. But I feel like you taught them something. Self-love makes you more attractive. I feel like you walked away as a means to show someone that you are not their dumping ground. You are not just their doormat. You weren't just going to be sitting around waiting for someone to divvy out their time and energy to you. I feel like many of you may have walked away from those loveless connections, those one-sided connections, those connections where there was a lack of reciprocity. So let's see what the uh, overall energy is for my beloved Scorpios get a message. So we have love partnership. So you do have a love partnership. This is someone that absolutely feels like you are a wish fulfillment. This is someone who could also be going through some sort of karma. Maybe you have something turning around in your favor in reg regards to love. If a lot of you are single, I feel like there is a love uh, connection that can absolutely develop. And I feel like this is going to be something unexpected. It's going to be really abrupt in the way in which this relationship takes off. I feel there's a lot of chemistry, a lot of synergy. And I feel it's because you've remained hopeful, optimistic, because a lot of you did your healing, grounded yourself, worked on you, that you're now able to attract what you are. Because when you vibrate higher, you attract others, you know, soul tribe, soul members. Uh, that are going to also be in that same flow in that same uh, on that same wavelength and I feel like for many of you that eight that is the um, justice card in traditional tarot so I feel like this is you know the universe working things out in your favor the universe has everyone's address so maybe you know some of the seeds that you sowed in good faith in the past they're now going to harvest and I feel like one of the seeds was your desire to find love to have someone that is going to be all the man or all the woman that you need according to Whitney Houston right now we have Zulima and this is called tree so this is absolutely someone that is going to be very solid. You're going to have a very solid connection. And I'm hearing that Ashford and Simpson song, solid as a rock. So I feel like this person is going to be very solid, um, but they're also going to be very transparent, very honest, someone that you could build with, grow with. I was picking up on an energy of someone coming in that's going to be, you know, very humble, very stimulant, you know, a stimulating energy, someone very deep. They have depth, someone a healer, practical, down to earth, very resourceful, domestic, maternal, paternal, someone very nurturing, loving, caring, kind. But this is, you know, a love partnership that is developing. And I feel like with tree, this is someone that can ultimately become like that husband, that wife. You could build that happy house, happy spouse with this person that happily ever after with whoever this is, because this is the overall energy. Someone that finds you to be their wish fulfillment or someone that you find is a wish fulfillment for you. Someone that has been manifested um, is coming in, coming in to be that rock, to be solid. I feel they're also going to be a protector, a provider, um, 
and they're just going to be uh, very intentional as I said with this 96 this could be someone from your past because that 96 reduces to 15 which is 6 and 6 is the lovers so there is a connection or some sort of partnership um, in which someone is hoping and desiring your forgiveness um, because they see how solid you are. They felt that you was also a great provider, a great protector, um, very loving, very wise. You know, trees are ancient. You know, trees are just as ancient as water. They've been around since the beginning of time. So it carries ancient wisdom. So this is someone that sees you as someone very wise, very informed, um, but also someone that they could build and grow with. Um, with this forgiveness, they do desire to be forgiven for some of the simple um, things they were doing in the in the past, immaturity, um, games, you know, ego out of control you know very proud um someone who wasn't humble and i feel like you know the way in which you responded to them really humbled someone because i did see that pride at 19 which is telling me that there's an ego death um because that's an ending of someone being too proud um and so with this forgiveness they are absolutely hoping that you will forgive them um you know perhaps they're extending some sort of an apology um, or even an olive branch, I heard. So we have right now um, Luther Vandross, and this is If This World Were Mine. This is one of my favorite songs, a very beautiful song. So that's what this person really truly um, dreams of. You know, if this world was theirs, they would give you the flowers, the birds, and the bees. You know, it, it's just someone who would really be all giving. I was picking up on someone wanting to court you this time around, being very intentional in the way that they would treat you. Because maybe in the past, they didn't make that effort. They didn't really show you how they felt because they were very proud, because they thought it was all about them. Um, maybe they had multiple suitors, multiple options, and they was just very gassed, you know, by that. And but they didn't have that grade A supply in those other options. You were the grade A supply. And so now it's almost like they're reflecting back, realizing how foolish they could have been and hoping and desiring for your forgiveness. So let's see who is this person Scorpio is attracting to them and how do they feel? Let's see who is this person Scorpio is attracting to them. Thank you. So we got three cards. So we have self-love. So this is someone who didn't really love themselves. They didn't really have a clear understanding, understanding of love. And it's because many in many ways, like they had to learn how to love themselves in order to learn how to love. And so this is someone that has been very active, you know, actively working on the self-discipline. We got self-discipline here as well and the self-love. So that's 61.7. And so that's being assertive and confident in oneself. Someone lacked the confidence in the past. You know, maybe their ego and their pride came off as someone very confident, but it was really the opposite. They were projecting a lot of their insecurities and parading it around as confidence when in fact it was insecurities. So this is someone who really didn't have self-love, but they learned how to love themselves. And in loving themselves and learning self-care self-discipline self-worth self-value which is something that you could have reflected back to them by walking away from them they're now understanding and learning the definition of love and they're now also learning your love language they feel that you are very much in control that you have control self-control that you know who you are, that you're not parading around as someone else. Uh, they also see you as very spiritually strong, spiritually aligned, someone who loves themselves, someone who has done the necessary work to heal themselves so that they can love themselves. And now there's this greater, more profound understanding of the self. So you have knowledge of yourself. And I feel the self-love, self-discipline that this person is now learning is because of a trigger. You could have triggered, you could have activated something within them, something that was lying dormant, something that had them kind of stuck and perhaps maybe even standoffish, guarded, blocked off. You know, that's 61 is 7. So that's an energy of someone who is very defensive. I'm getting the seven of wands trying to, you know, stand your ground. But this is someone who is refusing, refusing to open up 
And I feel it's because they really didn't understand love. They didn't understand the definition of love. And this is a part of their environment. Like they were breeded this way, bred this way. This is the way that they were reared. This is the way that they were taught. But how they feel about you is that they would they want to give you the world. You know, they love you to the moon and back. It's like this person is like on some, you know, if it's in their reach, it's yours. Whatever it is you need, they want to be able to provide it. This is someone that definitely sees you as very wise. The 41 reduces to five. That's the hierophant. And so they see that you have sought wise counsel, that you have the sense of understanding, you know, on a deeper, more profound level. You are in alignment. You're in the equilibrium. You're in harmonized. But they also see that this relationship and connection could evolve, you know, in a, into a marriage, into a partnership. This person wants to give you the world. They want to express their feelings. They want to explain to you why things may have happened the way that they did. With intuition, this is what's hidden. So I strongly feel like many of you, you know, remember we had Third Eye playing by Roy Ayers. So I was saying that, you know, trust your intuition. Maybe your intu intuition and your psychic abilities at this moment in time is amplified. Maybe you're picking up on things. You know things before they happen. Or you could, you have the sixth sense or this ability to, you know, like you are, um, your premonition is, is, is uh, amplified at this time. Your intuition is like you could sense when something is about to happen. And I feel not only do you have that energy, but the person you're attracting. And two is the number of the high priestess, high priest if you're masculine energy. And I feel both of you are mirroring one another. So I do feel there's a lot of telepathic or intuitive com communication. Maybe someone is dreaming. There's a lot of dream activity. It's a lot of cerebral activity at this time. And we got 6-6. Six, six. That's another double number. So there absolutely is a need for you and your divine counterpart, soulmate, whoever this is that you're attracting, to heal. When you heal thyself, you learn to love thyself, as I said. And so with this 66, someone is healing from heartbreak. 6 plus 6 reduces to 12, which is 3. And that's the 3 of swords energy. So there is a very strong need to heal from whatever past wounds and traumas so that you can release that. You know, that's an energetic block. That is um, not only an energetic block, but it's also a blockage um, for you emotionally. So you have to lick your wounds. You have to recover. You have to recuperate, rejuvenate your spirit. You have to purge what doesn't serve your greatest good. And when you heal from that soul level, then you can start attracting new love, true love to you. And so we have Anita Baker been so long. So it's been a long time since you all have felt love, you know, because this heartbreak was very deep. You all have been on a journey for quite some time, you know, healing, healing yourselves and rediscovering who you are, what your passions are, what your purpose is, what your likes are, what your dislikes are, you know, and, and, and in doing so, I feel like this is really nurturing, you know, your ability to start attracting healthy love to you so let's see what is the outcome for my beloved scorpios thank you spirit and so we have rebirth on the bottom of the deck 16 so that is your energy absolutely you've transformed you've transformed mind body and spirit i feel absolutely there was a change and this change as i said has triggered someone else to tra change you know, when you go through a rebirth, that means that you've had to have some sort, there was a death, you know, there was a death of your former belief systems, ideologies, there was a death in the way that you may have approached certain situations. It's just you're no longer thinking the same or moving in the same way. And there's been an evolution. You've evolved in the way that you approach certain, certain situ situations, pardon me. And I do feel strongly like that transformation has impacted someone else. So much so that now there's a, a desire to communicate. It's been so long. I feel like it's been a long time since you and another person has, has had an opportunity to just express yourselves, uh, catch up. Like you haven't spoken to someone in a while. And this is that person from your past. That's another 33-6. So this is that past person. I feel like the universe is aligning you with this person. Spirit is aligning you with this person. Someone has had a moment of clarity, an aha moment. There's been a light bulb moment. They're seeing something very clearly. 
someone has had some sort of epiphany, some sort of truth has been result, um, has been discovered. There's been something that has come to surface. And it's been a long time since you've spoken to this person. So when they come through, it's like the both of you are really going to cover everything. Because this 333 three, three is the number of the um, Empress. And I feel like this is also someone who's gone through uh, some sort of lessons, life lessons. And they've reached that level of self-mastery, same as you. But they see you as someone, as I said, very wise, very beautiful, very strong, very powerful person. Very assertive, determined, willful, ambitious. And so maybe they communicate with you intuitively. And maybe that's what you're picking up on. You know, intuitively you're picking up on someone communicating with you. I almost feel like someone's trying to, you know, trying to prepare you before they make their, their grand entrance back into your life. So they could be like thinking about you heavily. They could be calling your name. They could be dreaming of you, as I said, daydreaming. And it's like, because you're highly intuitive as well, it's like you're picking up on them energetically. And it's been a long time since you spoke to this person, but I feel you've gone through some sort of major change. Like there's been a very defining moment in your life, very transformative energy here. And you've evolved someone wiser. And you're also on the precipice of a new start, a new beginning there's amazing opportunities that are presenting themselves. And I do feel like, you know, you're, you're master manifestors. You are, you know, absolutely setting your focused intention to manifest your desired outcomes. And something is, is, is really about to happen here. And so we have um, ready for the world. And this is called love you down. Oh, wow. Look at this. We got carnucopia on the bottom of the energy oracle deck. So with ready for the world, love you down, there's definitely someone who could be at a distance. There could be physical distance. We all we already see that it's been a long time si or heard or know that it's been a long time since you spoke to this person. And maybe it's been also a long time since you've seen them. This is someone that wants to love you down. They want to love you down. So this is someone absolutely that just I'm hearing they want to kiss kiss the feet that you walk on we already had luther vandross saying that if this world were mine they want to give you the world you know this is someone who thinks the world of you and we have carnicopia here i feel absolutely there's a uh, some sort of reward some sort of breakthrough financially a blessing and this is because of the seeds that you sowed in good faith in the past all of the hard work that you put forth is going to be paid off there's a harvest and this is a blessing from the divine the train is going by so that's confirmation that there is distance between you and another person emotionally physically and we got the magician and the mirror 53 so there is someone that is um manifesting another person or manifesting some sort of blessings in their life they've been co-creators with source someone has grown aware of their power that they possess and so they've been like the magis, the alchemists, you know, utilizing the elements around them. Maybe some of you are using mirror magic to manifest love or some of you are making, um, you know, uh, just doing manifestation rituals, protection rituals. You all are very wise, very psychic, very in tune. I also feel someone is looking at you as like their their like wish fulfillment. It's like you are a rare breed. You're different. You're like that earth angel, you know, and empaths are very special creatures. You're not going to bump into an empath every single day. I feel we're more rare than, you know, you would believe because you see so much communication about empaths out there. But I feel that we're in a, a very rare breed. And I feel like someone realizes um, how special you actually were like you loved them inside and out you know mind body soul you loved them flaws and all you know and um and yet they gave you nothing you know this is someone that has regrets you know regrets for their misdeeds as i said and when you know your worth and value this is always um a very positive and powerful uh action to take 
is to walk away from people, places, and things that no longer serve your highest good. This is you walking away from a connection that may have made you feel very much imprisoned, enslaved, uh, whether mentally, physically, like you didn't feel like you were being, um, like your, your love was being reciprocated. You didn't feel like it was equal give and take. This was someone that was just take, take, take. And so this love partnership, you know, that eight, I'm getting like, you know, the eight of cups energy, you, you chose to walk away from a loveless connection, a connection that had you feeling emotionally bankrupt, you know, the deval, you know, that devalue, you know, you walked away from it. This is a very strong, powerful energy. And you went into hermit mode, you know, nine is the highest number of change. So I feel like many of you changed, you know, your approach changed the way that you, um, we're looking at this situation because many of you were self-sacrificing, you know, giving more, doing the most. You was going above and beyond and being everything that that person needed you to be. And it, it was it was never enough. It was never enough because, as I pointed out in a former reading, a lot of you were dealing with narcissists. A lot of you were dealing with people who were never going to be satisfied with what you were doing. And they were always keeping the door open for other love supplies, for other love options, and that's why the connection with you was always feeling like they was giving you the bare minimums or they were breadcrumbing you along. And it's because they had a lot of other distractions around, you know, there was a lot of people dealing, um, you know, involved in this connection. There was a lot of triangulation as well. So we got the magician in the mirror. There was a lot of manipulation, I do feel emotional manipulation and this hostilities card so there definitely was arguments disagreements and i'm gonna put this back it was a jealousy and envy here so let's see let's clarify these messages my spirit of love and light so let's cut this deck let me cut it again and the bottom of the deck overall energy it's clarifying. It says healer of the ages. So that's what you all had to do. You had to walk away from someone and focus on the self. Find balance within yourself. Find harmony within yourself. 51 is 6. So the lovers is all about that yin-yang energy as well. Masculine, feminine energy. So this is you finding balance within the self. Every great healer has to first heal themselves. You walking away was the most powerful stance that you could take. And in walking away, you didn't just walk away and leave it at that. You walked away and you focused on healing. Because remember, we saw 6-6 six, six healing, and then we have 51-6. So this is about healing the self, you know, finding that balance, making sure that you're in harmony and equilibrium because you was out of balance. And you've become an initiate, you know, through you healing thyself, you've become a healer. Through you taking the initial steps to do this internal work, this healing at a soul level, it has really um, made you an initiate of the craft, Many of you are spiritualists. This is your calling. This is your purpose. And you've discovered your life passion, your life uh, path and mission. And we have the temple path here. And so we have um, another bad creation. This is called Aisha. So some of you all, you could have been dealing with someone named Aisha. But with self-love, I do feel like, you know, this is someone really, you know, seeking wise counsel, going to perhaps an elder, a matriarch, patriarch, and just, you know, getting some fruits of knowledge, also just doing their own due diligence to heal themselves. You know, three is the empress in traditional tarot. So someone could have been dealing with another person and, you know, realize that, you know, they got to love themselves. You know, they can't, they can't be in a, a loveless connection or they can't be everything to someone else. And then they're feeling depleted, discarded, you know, so this energy here with um, another bad creation, I just feel like this is, you know, someone that doesn't really put their, they don't use their powers for good, you know, because, you know, the Empress is a creative, you know, the divinity of the divine feminine and masculine is to create. And with the name of the group, another bad creation, I just feel like this is someone who's looking at like, dang, this is another bad relationship. And I feel like it's because, you know, maybe there, there was some sense of codependency, you know, insecurities, 
pride, ego was a factor, runner chaser type of dynamic, someone who lacked confidence, courage, willpower, you know, someone who needed to focus more on loving themselves before they get entangled in a relationship. And I feel like once they started to do that work, that self work, you know, self help work, that's when they started to gain some sort of epiphanies, clarity, started to see things clearly. As I said, maybe they started to, you know, speak to elders in the community. This also is about, you know, strategizing, planning, you know, and, and making the right moves to ensure a positive outcome. And so we have met, um, Keith Sweat, Make It Last Forever. So let's see, who is this person Scorpio is attracting? Thank you, spirit. Wow, make it last forever. And you saw how that shot up? Caring connections. So this is someone who has forever in mind. Remember, I was picking up on someone that really wants to invest. This is somebody that's going to be very intentional. Someone that's going to court you, be very chivalrous, charming, very communicative as well. And I also feel like this is someone that has marriage on the brain, like they could see themselves married to you. We got make it last forever. So they're coming in wanting and desiring to make this connection last forever because how they truly feel about you is that, you know, you, they're all the man that you need. You're all the woman that they need. So they could see that happy house, happy spouse vib vibration, you know, and future with you. And they are manifesting you. This is someone that is strongly manifesting you know they find you to be very um, masterful in your ability to manifest as well we got this self-discipline here and this is how they feel like you are in control you know you have this awareness you have this power you have this strength you exude this strength this knowledge of self And so this is someone that really wants to make it last forever. They have anxieties when it comes to you. You know, they feel all choked up. They feel con confused. You know, they feel a little conflicted even. Because, you know, with don't you forget about me, this is definitely that person, you know, remember simple minds. So this is somebody who, who has played games. But they played games with someone who has self-discipline. So you're not responding, reacting, you know, you're, to any of the shenanigans or the foolery because you've mastered yourself. So when you are in that, that empress and emperor energy, you don't react. You're proactive, you know, and you're also fully aware of the games, the manipulations that others play. And it's because it's due in part from a learned experience. You've learned through experience and so with the self-discipline I strongly feel like someone um, sees you as a very strong very strong willed um, they know you know um, as above so below as within so without so you know how to change your circumstance so w why is self-discipline here for how the person feels about Scorpio we got Archangel Mikael here so Baba Mikael, thank you so much for showing up in the reading. You are very protected. This union is protected. For some of you, Archangel Mikael, you could start um, that nine-week Archangel Mikael prayer. And I'm telling you, he manifests miracles into your life. He always also cuts you free, you know, from toxicity, protects you from evil. You know, we got this mother of coins. Someone sees you as you know your worth and value. You're not wanting for anything. We got 41, 42. So they see you as very much in harmony, very much in the flow. They feel that you are very domestic, very down to earth, very earthy, very grounded, a healer, shaman, a light worker, very maternal, very paternal, very um, nurturing energy. You're also a master manifester. You you wear many hats. You know how to get a coin. You know how to make things happen. Some of you all have businesses. You're not wanting for anything. You're not lacking anything in your life. You could be very single at this time and you're you're successful. You're doing well financially. You're doing well personally. Like you look good. And this person sees you as wifey material because this empress is, you know, this is like pre-empress status, the queen of pentacles. 
very much pre emperor status and they feel very protective of you. I feel you're also protected like your angels, your guides are protecting you, guiding you. I feel there's truth coming in and the truth you're going to have to use discernment. Someone is going to come in and they're going to say they want to be with you and I feel like you're going to have to use discernment. You're going to have to use your intuition. Why is intuition here for what's hidden? Thank you, spirit. And we have this journey. So someone is traveling. Someone is making a decision to come towards you. We got 222 two, two here. And 222 two, two reduces to 6. So this is someone from your past. This is what's hidden. That person from your past is having to leave a situation. And they're leaving that situation so they could come towards you because they want to make things happen and last forever with you because they feel this connection. They feel this connectedness. They feel this synergy, this chemistry with you. This is someone who has become wiser, more aware, you know, more aware of their feelings. So they're strategizing, planning, planning their escape, planning a visit, planning some sort of some sort of trip. And we have communication. So Archangel Mikael flew out. So there will be communication. And this is honest communication. You got 33 and 35. So some of you all, you've manifested this. This person is going to express that they see, you know, a future with you, that they want to make this last forever, that they love you. Someone has truly become wise to the fact that they love you and they're going to be very honest. There's going to be truth. And I feel like Archangel Mikael is, is aiding, you know, it's like they're, he's bringing you all into alignment with your divine counterpart. And so someone is now being triggered to start strategizing so maybe this is where you know those feelings of nostalgia are kicking in because now they're looking through photo albums reading old text messages emails looking at old pictures whatever it is there's a form of nostalgia because they're trying to prepare to take action to come toward you and they're being met with hostilities and envy because they're having to walk away from someone which is causing heartbreak there's a lot of heartbreak. Someone feels like unappreciated because someone is leaving. But someone is trying to leave a situation because they felt like it was just, it was very argumentative, very toxic. They was dealing with someone who was jealous and envious. And we have um, Nina Simone feeling good. So they, they feel good when they're around you. But when this other person, there's a lot of hostility. And it's because they're dealing with someone who's very envious and jealous. That's a very immature energy. That also is someone, like I said earlier, like there's insecurities, you know, and with self-love, that's what someone had to learn because maybe they starting to look at the connections that they were in and they realized like there was no love, you know, this isn't a love, uh, loving connection. When you're dealing with someone hostile, envious, and this brokenheartedness is there, and then you got the appreciation right underneath that. So there's a lack of appreciation. Someone felt very devalued. Someone said some things that was very harsh, very beguiling, very mean-spirited. So let's see what we have. Let's get some messages from the African-American Tarot. So we got the Ancestors, which is the death card here in traditional tarot so the death card so there, go, there goes that rebirth that you've experienced you know that's what death is it's about pivots it's about tra changes transformations shifts in one's life in yourself in your consciousness so this transformative moment in time has led to ascension and growth it led to you healing that self and when you heal that self you begin to love that self self-love is an inside job so let's see. And you're feeling really good right now after that transformation, after, you know, going through the heartbreak. It's like you see things from a completely different vantage point. Gula Black is the hanged man. And so I do feel like there's more of um, intention now when you start moving forward. You know, there's a compass on the first eye chakra. So I do feel like now there's more of, um, you know, more of um, an intent to to really use discernment before taking action, before moving in any particular direction. And so we have Janet Jackson, Pre Pleasure Principle. 
So it's like you're going to do whatever your heart desire, whatever brings joy and peace and happiness into your life. That's what you're doing. You're moving now with that intention. And I feel like you're making the judgment calls moving forward, you know, and there could be someone returning that is like a, you know, a cosmic companion, the yang to your yin. But this dem bones, this is the same as judgment. So I do feel like, you know, there is um, someone returning from your past and you may have to make a judgment call. We do see this eight and eight is the karmic um, connections, you know, and that also represents, you know, something that is turning around in your favor. So we have that um, the seven of baskets. So remember, I was saying that there was like, you know, you was putting so much time and energy like the eight of cups you know, putting all this time and energy, but you're, you, you weren't being matched. You know, there was a lack of reciprocity. So you had to heal from that rejection. That's like a form of rejection, being treated like an option, being treated like, you know, one of many. And so what that was, was because someone was kind of clouded, you know, they had too many people with pleasure principle. That's all they was thinking about was pleasure, self-pleasure, um, pleasing themselves. They didn't really care how they came off or who they heard in the process. It was all about, you know, what made them feel good in the, um, you know, in the outcome. And so, you know, that could have le led to you walking away from that connection and choosing to love yourself. We got Dr. Buzzard. So there goes justice, just as I just spoke of. And there it is. Dr. Buzzard is saying that there was absolutely, um, you know, that need to to really um, find the balance. You know, maybe someone was dealing with karma, maybe option that they chose. They thought it was a caring connection, but it was really a loveless connection. It was really all about pleasure, um, immediate status, you know, immediate gratification. So maybe someone was like really um, into materialistic things. Maybe someone was really focused on, as I said earlier, like um, appeasing and pleasing or uh, social standards, um, just kind of looking a certain way to others and not really um, embodying that, believing that, you know, truthfully within themselves. So I feel like something was imbalanced and, and karma uh, played a factor in a situation where someone had to really start looking within, you know, and asking themselves the hard questions like, you know, what is love? You know, I feel like what is love was one of the questions like, what is love? How do I know that I'm in love? How do I know that someone loves me? But I feel this balance being restored, justice, something's being justified. Um, so why is 61? Why is the 61 self-love and the 14 caring connections here? Free man. So someone is freeing themselves. The way this is said, this is the um, hanged man. I mean, not the hanged man. This is the fool. And so this is free man. So someone is freeing themselves from a connection where it lacked love so that they could come towards a more caring connection. This is an intention. See how they walk through the door and they're leaving this gate. You know, this gate is almost like, you know, a prison. Someone's walking out and leaving a situation behind, wanting to take that leap of faith because they feel more pleasure. They feel mentally stimulated, emotionally you know, stimulated, they feel physically attracted to you. And they also feel free, you know, they feel like, you know, they, they have a sense of freedom, like there aren't games, there isn't a bunch of tricknology. They want to be honest, they want to be transparent, they want to be communicative. This is someone that's like, you know, I don't want to play any games no more. You know, I don't I don't want to play the games. And so we have Samuel, this is called So You Like What You See. So this person absolutely likes what they see. It could be like, you know, a secret admirer watching you from a distance. We got the father of coins and we're about to clarify woman holding a coin, which is the same as the queen of coins. So this person sees you, as I said, their significant other, their divine counterpart, their cosmic companion, their kindred spirit, their soulmate, their twin flame, their better half, the yin to their yang, yang to their yin. This is a suit. This is a power couple. This is two people who are very self-sufficient, independent. This person sees you as wish fulfillment. You see this genie bottle. So it's like they see you as someone that is, um, you know, a very good match for them, like a like mind. You know, you have you have similar interests, similar qualities, you know, similar similar and, um, you know, goals, you know, similar five year plans. Like there's a similarity. There's a connectedness. There's a, a synergy, a chemistry. 
you know, and they also feel like with you, they could build. Remember, we had tree. So they could see you in their family tree. They could see building a family, a legacy. They could see growing old, planting seeds and roots. This is someone who could have been confused in the past, stuck between t in two minds, stuck between two people, two options, but still returning back to what's, what is. This is the six, the lovers, and this is called courting in the hoodoo deck. So this is someone, as I said, that's going to return and they're going to court you because they know you know your worth. They know you could do good by yourself, that you're doing just that right now. And so this person is coming in so that they can show you that they're all the man that you need. You know, they want to give you what they see that you deserve. And that is love. That's attention. That's affection. That's honesty. That's communication. That's attention, uh, attentiveness. That's you know, affection in, in a very loving way. So this is someone that likes what they see. They like the person that you've transformed in, that you've emerged, you know, as. So why is 41 um, self-discipline and 42 woman holding a coin here for my beloved Scorpios and how this person they're attracting feels about them? May I have a message of love and of light, beautiful souls. And it's 5555 five, five, five on the clock. And that's 20, that's 2. So this is someone who is going to be very intentional and they're going to take action to come towards you because they've had that epiphany, that aha moment. They like what they see. They like how they feel around you and they want to come towards you. So that two is giving me like the two of wands. It's also the two intuition. So they're trusting their intuition because that's the high priestess. So we have this son of coins on the bottom of the deck. And you see how this son of coins, he's pointing right at the Scorpio, the sign of the Scorpio right there. So this is someone, as I said, that's making a decision, a choice. And this is someone coming in to make an offer as well. Because they like what they see. So why is this 41? Thank you, spirit. See that? Two of coins. So this is a decision, a choice. Juggling between two. Emotions is running high. So this is someone that is going to make a decision to come towards you. This is someone who has been juggling a lot. Maybe they had an ex, as I said. There was a lot that there was going on. Maybe they're juggling financial situations and circumstances, you know, trying to get things in order so that they can make this offer. But that too deals with duality. And so I do feel someone is trying to balance some things out before they can come in and take action. There goes the eight of coins. So this is them wanting to work together to collaborate, you know, to build that alliance, that partnership. You know, this is that solid connection. This eight of coins is someone coming in and wanting to work together, wanting to uh, partner up. And this is the journey, the two. So this is them taking action. This is them trusting their intuition, telling them to do so, telling them, look, take action, go towards your Scorpio because you already like what you see. You've been watching. They tick all your boxes. You, you see the mistakes you've made, now you can correct them. But someone is going to, you know, come towards you. They could be penning you a letter. They could be confessing or expressing their feelings. This is someone that does want to work together, that's going to put forth the e effort to show you how they feel. This is someone that may travel to see you. Why is intuition and to journey here for what's hidden in the energy for it, my beloved Scorpios? And we have Jodeci, my heart belongs to you. So this person is returning because they feel like their heart belongs to you. And we got the daughter of coins. They're holding on to you. They feel like this connection brings them a lot of happiness. They feel this connectedness, just as I said. And they're willing to return because they, they, they don't feel those same feelings with whoever it is they're leaving behind. This is someone that feels you're domestic, you're nurturing, you're maternal or paternal that you're a great provider, that you're very loving. You bring happiness, you know, you make a house a home. You are like soul food to this person. See that? The father of baskets, I can't make this up. This person has fond memories of being with you. You know, maybe the two of you used to hang out a lot together. Y'all used to have parties, you know. Maybe y'all used to invite your friends over. Y'all would have like little, um, you know, little gatherings, little get-togethers. Great conversation, card games, music, cookouts, whatever it is. And this person just finds you to be very beautiful. They've been holding on to you, this connection, and this vision in their mind. Because I feel like this person thinks about you all the time, daydreams. Like this king of, of cups, 
you know, king of baskets, he's like he's looking back to the past and reflecting, you know, and this is what's hidden. So someone is really reflecting back on those moments. That's that energy of don't you forget about me. This person doesn't want you to forget about them because they can't stop thinking of you. And you could be picking up on this person energetically because, as I said, when someone's constantly thinking of you, they're truly carrying you around in their spirit. And so the more they think of you, the more that makes you sensitive to them energetically. So you start picking up on them intuitively. You start picking up on that energy. But this person dreams of you, daydreams. This is someone that finds you to be very sexy, very attractive. So let's see what we have. So someone definitely loves you. So why is this 33 communication and Archangel Mikael here? First chakra is Scorpionic chakra. Um, this base, the root chakra also. So that's where all of the trauma is housed. That's also, you know, um, very symbolic of life and death. You know, um, so I do feel that there's, you know, some sort of something positive can result from a circumstance that may have, you know, kind of fizzled and died. You know, I do feel strongly like divine timing. Timing was a factor. Maybe something happened prematurely. And so we have the six of sticks. I can't make this up. So there will be uh, some sort of communication. And there's also like victory here. You know, there's something resulting and it's going to be very happy, a happy moment, a celebratory moment. I feel there's also other people like celebrating you. So this could speak to like a marriage. You know, communication can result in things moving forward positively. And we have this Gula Jack. So someone definitely... Um, sees where they needed to look at something um, from a completely different vantage point. And I feel like they also see the errors of their ways, but now they're being more strategic in the way in, the way in which they move. But I feel there's a uh, positivity, you know, a breakthrough of some sort. And I feel it's also because Archangel Mikael is overseeing this union. So he's cutting you free from anything that does not honor you, value you, and this person. I do feel this is a spiritual union, um, this is a cosmic companion and this is destined, you know, Aunt Caroline is the same as the uh, Wheel of Fortune. So this is someone destined to be in your life. This, in a, this is a destiny type of love. I also feel that you're being rewarded with some sort of um, wish fulfillment, luck and answered prayer. You're, you're in the spotlight you know, you could see here there's victory celebrations, there's people cheering you on. So I do feel like you're having some sort of victory. And this is also making you very attractive. But I also feel whatever was delayed in your past, the vine is removing it. And you're being rewarded, you're being acknowledged. I do feel that, you know, someone does look at your pictures. I feel people do watch you online. Maybe you have an online presence and people are like watching you online. But with my heart belongs to you, someone absolutely feels like you're the one that got away. They love you dearly. We have unexpected income. So, so far we had carnal copia. We just saw the wheel of fortune. Um, and now we have this unexpected income. So there is a blessing. There is a reward for everything you've endured. You got wealthy man. See that? That's that king of coins. And you're the queen of coins. So someone does feel like you are the one that got away. And remember the 13. And we saw 13 several times in the beginning of the reading. So that 85, remember that was 13, follow your dreams. And then we had physical activity 13. And then we saw effort 13. So this is that masculine, you know, that divine masculine, that emperor. This is that, that entrepreneur, that man who's, you know, about their business that makes things happen. Very passionate, powerful, assertive, goes after what they want. Confident man, they have their eyes on you. You know, they have their eyes set on you. And I feel like they're going to come in. And I do see that, you know, maybe they like what they see because they see that, you know, financially you're coming into um, some sort of abundance as well. With this 27.9, like something's changing financially for you uh, for the better. Like there's a positive change. I feel like this is your karma. This is due to the seeds that you've sowed in the past. You know, they're, they're now blossoming. We saw carnucopia. So that's the divine is showering you with this infinite supply. This is independent self-sufficiency. 
you know, this is like your hard work paying off, as I said. So we got um, Sade, the sweetest taboo. So this love is going to be the sweetest taboo. This love with this new person. Because I, I already see, like, there's a lot of similarities. There's a lot, um, you know, of mirroring, you know, during the pre-shuffle early in the reading. We saw a lot of mirroring of the cards. Um, and now we see a lot of mirroring of the energy. And uh, maybe someone is getting a divorce. And look at this sudden wealth is on my hand. So many of you, this person can't stop thinking of you, daydreaming. You know, this is someone like, you know, having a lot of memories, thoughts, someone you could have worked with. There's a gift someone could propose. Someone is freeing themselves from something that was anchoring them, keeping them stuck. You, some of y'all could have met someone at your place of employment, but I also feel this is very indicative of the hard work. You know, all of your hard work. Remember that Carnocopia card was 11 and that hard work, that toil and labor was 38, which is also 11. See that someone realizing that how childish they were being immature. Maybe someone was staying together for the children, you know, feeling compelled, feeling obligated, doing part to children. So let's see what we have coming and going out, going on. And then we're going to wrap it up. So let's see what we got. Get another shuffle or two. Divine Spirit of Love and Light was coming in for my beloved Scorpios. We have a message of love and of light. So you are the sweetest taboo to this person. So they find you to be taboo. I don't know why, but see that imprisonment. Someone was stuck and trapped in a connection. And I feel this is more so of the mind. You know, this is some someone who could have been dealing with, you know, uh, someone who's very man uh, manipulative and conniving. I feel this deals with like mental imprisonment, imprisonment you know, because, you know, maybe their thoughts. You know, maybe the belief systems, their ideologies had them in a fog. You know, maybe they had a very childish and immature um, perspective. And maybe that's why there was a lack of effort. There was this ego, the very ego based. You know, on the bottom of the deck, we have poverty. So we're about to clarify the person that you're attracting. And I feel like, you know, poverty, this is a mindset, you know. So this is someone who could have been used for their finances. Maybe someone felt um, like they couldn't fend for themselves. So I'm getting codependent relationship, a codependent connection. And that's why they have self-love because they had to learn to love themselves. Because remember, you know, how you treat yourself is how you teach others to treat you. And I feel someone was, you know, stuck and trapped in a, perhaps a codependent relationship, a very hostile connection. You know, it may have started off very loving, very caring. And then it, it kind of fizzled into a, a situation where they felt very impoverished, very imprisoned, you know. And they was dealing with and it was some main female that made them feel that way. So that could be like a mother figure, um, a parental figure, or maybe a children's mother, you know, a girlfriend, a fiance, but someone that they was dealing with, they, they, they had a lot of love, care, tenderness for that person. But I feel like ultimately um, it was a very concerning. They may have discovered someone had other lovers or maybe someone was using their child to manipulate them, you know, but they felt poverty. They felt this lack mentality. Someone could have been using them for material gain and maybe they stuck around, like I said, because of social standards, because of hearsay, because of they, you know, they didn't want to appear a certain way. Why is 61? Um, what is that? Self-love, self-love, caring connections and the free man here. Thank you, spirit. We got community. So their, their ancestors, their spirit team, you know, freed them from this connection it's like maybe they that like i said with that 14 you know that is the hierophant so these caring connections that they had perhaps with elders you know because the hierophant is you know like a, a a spiritual teacher you know a priest a pastor you know a practitioner so they they were seeking wise counsel you know from you know that elder figure or from that uh patriarch or matriarch and they received the that fruits of knowledge, the wise dome, so that they could free themselves from whatever this was that was keeping them confined, um, imprisoned mentally, emotionally. You know, this is imprisonment of the mind. 
you know, those baskets, all those thoughts flooding around and with the, the cloud of smoke, it's just like confusion. So they, they could have been praying and asking for guidance. And, and I do see that they slowly mustered up the strength and courage to, um, to move away, you know, cause that 61 is, you know, the, um, self love card and that reduces to seven and seven is the chariot. So that's them like mustering up the strength to be more assertive, to, you know, do what's best for them this time around. And so we have great fortune. How they feel about you is you're abundant. Like, you know, you, you, you've got the Midas touch, like whatever you touch turns to gold. Like you are juggling multiple um, duties and you have mastered it. Um, you could be seen as a very great mom, great dad. Um you could be excelling in your career. You could have businesses that are thriving, um, but you have this great fortune. And remember, we saw Wheel of Fortune, Aunt Caroline, on the bottom of the deck. So I feel like you have, um, you know, you're like destiny, uh, destiny type of love, like this destined for you and this person to come together. And that's why I feel slowly but surely they're kind of freeing themselves from what has been anchoring them and keeping them feeling contained and stuck, you know, um, maybe someone could have been doing some sort of separation spell in this case or doing something to keep the two of you at bay, you know, but I feel with this great fortune, how they feel about you is you are definitely destined, um, for them and they, you, uh, they also feel that you are that wish fulfillment that you bring just abundance, emotional fulfillment, happiness, and joy into their life. So why is 41 self-discipline here? 42 lady holding a coin and the two of coins here for how this person Scorpio is attractive feels. And we have D train, um, something on your mind. So this person does have something on their mind that they want to get off. And we do see that. So we have false person. So see that this person is was realizing that they've been juggling, you know, this false person. This is that same eight. So how they feel about you is, you know, they they're unsure um, whether or not you're going to take them back because they know you can see through them, through the illusion. You know, there was a lot of trickery, child's play. There was a lot of games in the beginning. Um, this could have played with your emotions, but I feel what you did was you focused more on um, your family, your your career, your business, opposed to this this person that was trying to juggle you and another person. They know that they duped you, that they toyed with your emotions, that they were playing games with your heart, um, and that you had uh, expectations, you know, and the expectations kind of exploded, you know, blew up in your face, you know, because nothing that you expected took place or transpired. It was only games. It was heartbreak. We saw that, um, you know, that broken heart. So they are aware that they broke your heart. They know that you could see through them, um, you know, because this is like, you know, they also feel like, you know, to some degree that you could have deceived yourself as well, um, you know, by not really seeing them for who they were, not really seeing through their illusions and their games. Um, let me get one more message here for how this person Scorpio is attractive feels about our beloved Scorpio. OK, so we got two, car three cards. See that this is what they feel. So they was they was juggling a false person. And they see you as the divine feminine, that privileged lady. That is how they see you. That 12 reduces to three. So that's the empress. So this is what they was doing. They was juggling. This is very clear. This is what they was juggling. How they feel about you is you're the empress. But they also know that you feel that they was juggling. And so what they're starting to realize is that they was juggling you with someone that was false, that was fugazi, that was a fraud, that was a frenemy. Expectations flew out. So your intuition is telling you something is coming. So you are picking up on, you know, those little nudges, those little nuggets of information, the divine interventions are taking place. You're getting downloads. You're having those transmissions, dream activity, and you're, you're kind of anticipating something coming. You're anticipating someone traveling to see you or someone reaching out to communicate with you you're anticipating this you know you're also you know reflecting back to 
you know, what took place in the past. Uh, and you had these high expectations. And that's why the divine is telling you to use your intuition this time around. Um, because, you know, there are disappointments. You know, when you have expectations, it's, there's no guarantees that whatever you're expecting is going to happen in the manner in which you expect it to happen. And so you were disappointed. And so with this intuition here, I feel like the divine is telling you to trust your intuition, use discernment. Remember, Roy Ayers had third eye. So baby, baby, baby. Look to the sky, seeking to find the third eye. Secrets of wisdom, the secrets of sound. Secrets of wisdom, it will be found. So it's like he's telling you to look to the sky because the answers are all around you, all around you. So perhaps, you know, your intuition is kicking in. As I said, it could be very amplified at this time, very sensitive, but you're expecting something or someone to return. And so we have um, Jeffrey Osborne, and this is called Stay With Me Tonight. So this person that is reaching out to you, they may visit and, you know, they may need to crash at your place because it's going to get too late by the time y'all, you know, stop having fun. And, you know, so this person with poverty, dang, somebody may be um, homeless. You know, I feel like somebody could be homeless. Maybe they were staying with another person. And that could be the reason why there hasn't been any communication, you know, because somebody was really um, struggling financially. What's on the bottom of the deck? So this is like a bonus because you see how this card is facing this way and all the others are facing that way. Someone will message you. You have a secret admirer. So we have official person. So there's an official person that's coming in and toward you. When I hear official and I see this 22-4, this is that person that is absolutely like in that divine masculine energy. This is the person that, you know, as Whitney Houston was singing, that wants to be all the man you need. This is someone that's going to um, express their feelings, that share their truth, because we have communication here, and this is on the bottom of the deck. Let me get one more message. Why is 33 communication? This is a sacred union, I feel. See that? Lovers. I can't make this up. Didn't I tell you the lovers? The lovers, this is your person from your past. So both of you had to release something from your past. Someone has to walk away from another lover. And would stay with me tonight. Maybe somebody's trying to convince someone to stay with them because they know they're leaving. They know they're, they're, they're um, parting ways. And so they're trying to manipulate them into staying with them to not leaving. And I feel like they, they are going to um, cut it free because this same 14 message of concern and this caring connection, someone they deeply have love and cons you know care for, they have to part ways with this person because they realize that that is not the connection that um, that they truly desire to be in. You know, they you could care for somebody, but there's a difference between caring for someone and loving them. And so, what they feel for you, I feel, is you plus me equals love. This is on the bottom of my deck. After this, we're going to wrap it up. So this person definitely feels like you are the love, you know, that they've been looking for. And we got laughter is contagious. So many of you, that's a beautiful sign that, you know, regardless of what has been going on, y'all still maintained, you know, a lot of happiness and joy. You know, laughter is very healthy. We have unplugged, disconnect, unwind, and connect to your higher self. So that's absolutely what I feel someone is doing now. And that's how they're starting to discover, like, you know, this connection that they could be a part of is not cutting it for them. It's not enough. It's not fulfilling them. And so we, ha we have only calls with bad news. It's time to stop accepting those calls f um, for your peace of mind. You know, so whatever this drama is that people may be trying to bring to you, it's like you have every... Um, you have every right to to not call, you know, not to not accept those calls. You know, you have every right to not accept those calls, to not. Oh, she's so adorable. I'm sorry. My daughter just sent me a picture of her grandmother. <laughs> so beautiful. 
you know, you have every right to not accept everybody's calls because guess what? It's your mind. It's your peace, you know, and, and, and if somebody's coming in trying to negatively affect your peace, then you have every right to block until further notice. But we have redemption, you know, redemption, the sweetest joy. So there is some redemption here. And I feel the redemption is that you become a healer. You know, you become, you know, that that, um, you know, that that master teacher, that shaman, that that uh, light worker, you become that empath that helps to, you know, awaken the collective, you know, you you obtain whatever it is your sole pur purpose and mission is through the heartbreak, you know, and we have love and happiness, spiritual union. So this is what this person is now looking at. You know, they want love, they want happiness, and they want it all in that, that one person that they're with. So that's what someone's realizing, that they have the love and the happiness with you, but not in this con connection that they have with this other person. And so there's there's some truths that need to be to, to start um, being had. Oh, wow. So we got, he loves me, he loves me not, um, games, mixed signals. And so, yeah, someone was dealing with someone who's playing a lot of mind games. You know, we saw that magician several times. So that's like emotional manipulation, um, psychic manipulation, um, just someone kind of giving and then taking and, you know, just kind of playing a game. Um, we also have love is a battlefield and the eurythmics is playing. Here comes the rain again. So there is someone coming, returning to your life. I feel like this is someone that has lots of love. Um, this is someone who you may have felt was playing a lot of games was not being their authentic self because we have love is a battlefield is it worth the fight question seek answers so i do feel someone is willing to come back and fight for you but um you're going to have to make a judgment call whether or not you wish to entertain that person or um you know um, welcome that person back but we have the as the world turns this is the world card so i do feel there's is distance um emotional as well as physical but i also feel there's been a great deal of change and transformation so there is um a, a possibility that these changes uh that you have made um again has triggered activated another person and now they are willing to come towards you uh they're making this journey making this effort to to leave someone something behind so we have carries you in their spirit that's why you can't stop thinking of them and they you see that what did i say this intuition this is someone constantly dreaming daydreaming uh, night dreaming um this is just like constant thoughts of someone and as they carry you in their spirit you pick up on that energy but someone has these fond memories you know of of laughter and 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 enjoying you know time um together you know this is someone that feels like you really stimulate them mentally like you you just are a beautiful you know soul and so we have if you have to fit, force the connection there isn't one it's two-way street so someone was dealing with another person and they realized like this person was just using them for finances, using them for stability. And what they're making a decision to do after, you know, really assessing the situation and seeing everything as it is, they're choosing to move forward, to move onward, upward, to go towards what it is they truly want, which is their true love. With the lovers here, here comes the rain again and we got the official person. This person this person is the official person for you and you are the official person for them. And I strongly feel Archangel Mikael, your angels, your spirit team, you know, uh, your spiritual parents are aligning you with this person and conspiring to bring you into alignment with this person. We have the Trinity, the life on the bottom of the deck. This represents yin and yang energy as well as the the, the seeds. Uh, so the womb, this, this round portion is the womb for the feminine and this portion portion here is the uh, masculine energy um, and I mean the children I apologize this is representative of the children the star seeds and this represents the masculine the felicitous portion here the point so this is saying that this is absolutely someone that you could build with grow with plant seeds and roots a family a legacy um, this is someone that will be your uh, divine counterpart 
um, and I feel strongly that there is a strong synergy and chemistry. Um, there's deep love and passion, and I feel someone has been trying to force a connection because, as I said, the social standards, because of the expectations of the people around them, their friends, all this input, but what they're finally doing is they're making the assessment on their own in in regards to what direction they wish to go in and who they wish to choose and what they're choosing is you and this is going to lead to victory a breakthrough success ultimately marriage and you reuniting with this person mind body and soul i strongly feel like this is someone that you're meant to be with it's written in the stars and this is someone that you um this is this is your divine counterpart so this is your reading, beloved Scorpios. I thank you all so much for tuning and tapping in. I truly appreciate you tuning into the channel. Um, if you found the messages resonated, please be kind. Hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Um, I do have a small announcement. Um, I've been getting a lot of messages, more messages um, as of recently that you all aren't being notified when I upload. So oftentimes when YouTube uh, does an update, it could kind of like recalibrate all of your settings or you know offset your settings so just go in um, hit the notification bell to de disenable or to disable uh, the notification and then click it again to re-enable it just to make sure that you all are being informed uh, when I upload okay um, also I will be launching my shop my Etsy shop this week um, I believe this strong end uh, it will be on I believe it's going to be on um, the 9th, the 8th or the 9th, whatever day falls on Saturn's day. Um, that's going to be the launch day. But um, I've been working really hard, getting new products out there. So I hope you all love what I have been creating. Again, I thank you all for tuning and tapping in. If you are new, I hope you stay a while. All of my beloveds that are returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. Until next time, I send a big fat ashe. Peace.